Hello again. Well, as you can see, I'm out in the bell tent. I've been rushing a little bit because it's taken me, I'm down in Devon and it's taken me sort of five hours to get down here. It was uh, pouring with rain this morning, set, uh, putting everything in the truck. But um, it's okay at the moment. I've had a couple of quick showers while I've been setting up, but nothing too strong. So yeah, we've got a bit of sun at the moment. Down here for a few nights. Um, Nothing definite at the moment, <laughs> definitely free, but one of them I might go out on the moors for the night and uh, that'd be a different video anyway. I'd just uh, keep this video camped in the bell tent, so uh, yeah, it could be sort of two nights in here or it could be three or four. We shall see how it goes. Um, I do have to be back by the weekend for another camp, so <laughs> got to keep that in mind. But yeah, all set up. It's the uh, canvas tent shop tent and it's not the same one I had before this is the um, like the redo the updated version of the uh, four meter cocoon deluxe and uh, it's lovely <laughs> got the awning up um, this uh, I bought off the canvas tent shop as well um, got a footprint down as well just to uh, keep the worst of any mud and that off there's a lot of cow pats around which I've tried to avoid but there is one under the awning <laughs> um, got the stove in and uh, I've got a friend. <laughs> Hello. Someone's waiting for me to light the campfire and uh, cook some food. I'm uh, on farmland here. This dog belongs to the, uh, the farm owners. <laughs> I think he remembers me from the last time. If you caught the live stream where I was uh, truck tenting, that was um, this very spot actually. And um, it's lovely here. But I'll, I'll put the details to this place down below. But it is lovely. It's uh, nearly wild camping shall we say but uh, I'm just gonna get finished setting up the bed and whatnot I've got a new uh, cot bed I wanted to try out yep you sit right there <laughs> and uh, yeah relax for a minute <laughs> so this here is the new one tigris cot bed uh, I forget the exact name but I'll link it below um, folding tent camping cot now I've uh, set this up at home and I've only ever used one cot bed before and I didn't get on with it. It was one of them super lightweight ones. This one's a little heavier but uh, not, not ridiculously so. Um, got the top of the bed there, all the bits together here and I've added something myself just to make life a little easier. So I'll get this set up and show you. So with the poles inside the bed top there, you've got these kind of leg armatures. Clicks open like this, which is handy. And that allows you to uh, clip on the fixed side and stretch it out and snap it into place which is a little nicer than the other one I've got. So I'll just get all these on. And you can use the bed just like that. It's got pads on the bottom here, but it also comes with these feet. So you could leave these if you're needing to hike with it or something, but uh, as I'm sort of truck camping, I'm gonna put the extra legs on and get a little more sort of comfort and height. And they just snap in. There we go. It's a nice height <laughs> for sitting on. Um, you can use it like that, but uh, you know, I'm glamping here. So I'm gonna use my new Thermarest, I forget the name of this one now, Topo Lux absolutely massive this and it packs down pretty small so I'm going to use my little pump I've got my little flex towel gear uh, pump I absolutely love this thing it's uh, a light and a pump and uh, bellows for a fire as well and uh, you got different fittings this is about right for this one Perfect. 
So my little addition, which you may be able to see at the other end there, I've got these little utility straps. They're just off AliExpress. They just come through on an email, is it? Actually, that's quite handy. And uh, you just uh, wrap it around each end. Snap it in. Tighten it. And it's just going to stop that mattress from coming off. I mentioned that to one tigress. <laughs> That's uh, most of the wood prep done. I don't think I need an awful lot. It's just for cooking dinner really. It's, it's chilling down now, but this is uh, only just starting to cool off now, the weather. So I've got the stove, but whether I'll use it or not, we'll see. Um, yeah, pretty sorted. It's just the lights. I've got a couple of different lights for me, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. But uh, I think I'm gonna have a quick chill. Just to show you in here briefly, there's the winter well. The uh, canvas tent shop sells the winter well stoves as well. Absolutely love that one as a, a fixed stove. The one tigress bed and uh, my little table. Nothing too elaborate, though I do have my slippers again. <laughs> what other channel can you watch on YouTube where one minute I'm under a natural shelter? laying on the floor with a wool blanket and the next in a bell tent with a bed and a stove and i'll just show you my view now remember this is farmland you may hear the odd quad bike or dog or farm machinery but uh yeah this field surrounded by other fields all oaks around it down that way is the farmhouse and you've got a stream going along there. That tree line goes on into the woods over there. I'll have to have an adventure. Then I'm up on this tree line with the truck there. The sun setting behind me. Beautiful spot. It's actually cooling down a bit now, so uh, this is quite nice. And I am getting hungry, in all honesty. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait for this to burn down to some coals first. Um, I have to make a cup of tea before that, I think. 
got a mixture here of stuff. Um, I actually grabbed some wood from the wood store in um, in my woodland, and uh, yeah, using up kind of the last of it really before I restock. Um, some bits of pine, birch, uh, some bits of chestnut that have been left over from projects as well. Oh. I think might be getting a bit of a sunset behind me. I'll have a quick look, but uh, the clouds have come out. Got the howl now it's cooled down a bit. Just chilling. The rain seems to have stopped for the moment. I know, um, I was thinking, I know a few of you have bought these uh, bell tents off the canvas tent shop. I'd like to hear how you've been getting on with them if you've uh, managed to get out over the summer or anything. Because I kind of think of it being a canvas tent and heated more of as a winter thing. And it's only just getting cool enough to kind of warrant doing that. So that's why I've uh, not got out in it recently. But um absolutely love it. It's a bit to uh, set up, but uh, the um, carpet, I want to get a new one. Um, them ones are inexpensive. I forget the name of it. I think it's like coconut husk or something like that. They do take up a lot of room. So there's that kind of trade-off with it being the inexpensive one, but it does take up a lot of storage space and transport space. I'd like to get one of the thinner roll-up ones. They also kind of hold their shape a little bit with the crease and everything. Don't get me wrong, it's better than not having one, but um, yeah, I might get one of the more fancy ones. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Dog goes back. <coughs> oh, we just sat on my Doritos. What are you doing sitting on my Doritos? <laughs> Wanna sit by the fire, have you? You reckon there's gonna be some food coming, didn't you? You're already licking your lips. <laughs> Before I'd use the uh, TJM Metalworks fire anchor because uh, it's quite shallow this fire pit to put a grill on you need proper better coals Bit heavier than that Oh, oh Oh, you're all wet from the floor. I don't want to rub your belly. I don't want to rub your belly. Not too much prep for dinner, actually. Just gonna half this onion. as I am doing some burgers, some gourmet burgers. 
I'm just going to cut off a few onions for them. Should probably do. What I might do is just use the, the grill that goes on the fire anchor. Just gives me a little bit of flexibility and I can still get to the fire. Nearly there. Yeah, there we do. Okay, I've got some oil in there with the onions. And two gourmet burgers. While that's cooking, I thought I'd uh, try out this new light. Just clips in like so, and has several settings. That's not bad. Just thought I'd try something new. Quite cheap these. I'll um, I'll link them below. They just go onto any pole because they've got a height or a width thing inside, so they just kind of clasp on. It's not bad at all, some good light. And my power for this trip is just this power oak. Been trying it out for a while now, taking it on a couple of trips. Got an invert built in. Pretty handy for the uh, camera batteries and everything else. That's doing nice. Burgers are pretty thick, so I'm not doing them too fast. So it's time to uh, just toast the brioche buns. Okay, one. And two. And I've got just a little bit of blue cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle on top. Or everywhere, but. <laughs> Lots of fried onions. Oh, that looks good. I think one's upside down. There we go. <laughs> I know he wants some. I don't know if he's gonna like blue cheese. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. I've got a ghost ship. To wash it down. Oh. That's a tasty burger. <laughs> Want some, don't you? You can have some bits. Oh, teeth, teeth. Bye. <laughs> Say thank you, Andy. I can hear a cow going off. I think it knows. <laughs> you just ate his cousin. It yes, seems the rain is on. I think this might be uh, for the night.
Right, it's been raining. I'm gonna uh, use the stove, chill down a bit. Might not have it on long, but long well, enough to have a brew and warm up. warming up nice, I should be able to have a brew very soon. <laughs> the uh, doggo is still under the awning, he can't come in here, but uh, he seems perfectly happy. The fire's still burning a bit out there and he's dry under the awning, it uh, seems to have stopped raining for now. But uh, yeah, if we come in here for the night now, have a brew, chill out. Here we go, now here's the rain. Slept very well on this bed. I'm impressed. With the mat on at least. <laughs> yeah, I liked it, it was very comfortable. Very comfortable. And this mat is nice and wide as well. It's as wide as the bed or cot, whatever you like to call it. Um the dog stayed in here. I still don't know the dog's name. Stayed in here all night. Laid on my hat and squashed it. So dog's outside now. <laughs> Uh, which is where I'm going to cook some breakfast. Well, I was literally about to say to the camera the rains haven't come yet. <laughs> They've just started. Hopefully I can still get some breakfast done. I thought I'd have some pancakes and uh, bacon for breakfast. So I've got a little pre-prepared kind of mix here. To which I'll add an egg. Should probably be more than one egg, but I think one will do. And some milk. So I'll just mix it in the bag to make it life easier. I don't want a massive fire, so hopefully I can cook on it as it is, keep it burning on the other side. It is trying to rain, a few spots here and there. I know the uh, bad stuff's coming later. Oops. Oh. 
And as you can no doubt hear the rain's proper on now, so I'm giving up at two pancakes. <laughs> and plenty of syrup. This is very good. Mm. I've got some decision making to make <clears throat> over whether I go to Dartmoor today. It'd be good to do two different camps on this trip. And it'd be good to get on the moors before kind of proper winter sets in. But um, I think it's going to be raining non-stop. I've only got this camera, I've not got my action camera. So I don't even know if I'd be able to capture any of it. Except for me sat in a tent in the rain. <laughs> so, if you have a little ponder about it, I might double check the waterproof rating of this camera. <laughs> and see. Well, I've decided to stay here rather than go to Dartmoor because of the weather. I just wouldn't be able to film it. So I'm just using my little meth stove as the uh, weather's so bad out there. I don't want to waste wood just to get a boil on. And then maybe do some lunch. I've got a pan on here, I'm going to do some uh, a cheese toasty or toasted cheese, whatever you call it. I haven't got butter so I'm just going to use a tiny bit of oil. Have we gone out? No, that's not out. <laughs> I've got some tiny bread. <laughs> In my tiny bread I've got some normal cheddar cheese and some uh, Iberico cheese wrapped in Serrano ham. Just got that as a snack. There we go. Melty goodness, but it is small. I'll probably need two. <laughs> mm. <That> cheese oozing out. <laughs> I was thinking of something simple. I popped out, drove um, to a nearby village, and got some supplies. <laughs> as I was not meant to be here, this is the original plan. But uh, the rain has stopped. First time today. It will be back. <laughs> mm. And the Iberico ham, definitely a nice addition. Is that it back? Oh, I think that's just the wind knocking the uh, rain out of the tree. Yeah, I just wanted to take simple um, and I'll cook dinner on the stove later because it will be raining, so having a fire outside is a bit of a pain. I could have it under the awning, but it's a bit low. It's, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Hmm. 
And yes, my friend is still with me. <laughs> Hasn't left my side. Even when I went to the village and came back, he was waiting in the awning for me. He's made his way back into the tent. I keep saying he, I think he is a she. And he's watching me uh, eat. Mm. No cheese for you. I thought I'd get a little bit of firewood prep done while it's not raining, though it looks like it's going to very soon. God, I think this is oak. <laughs> right, we'll see how this goes. My double layered part of the chimney didn't quite reach the hole to block it up, so I'm getting some drips. If the stove was on that wouldn't be a problem at all, they'd just fizzle right off. But just to show you what does get through, it's barely anything. Got a tiny bit of pooling there by the foot, and I just mop that up every now and again with a tissue and just rinse it outside. But yeah, I should have tried um, two stove sections, then the double walled one. But it might have been too high, I'm not sure. Obviously you can't get it perfect for every stove, the placement. And I think you can request with the canvas tent shop where you have it placed. That's the firewood prepped and uh, any cleaning needed doing done. All ready for this evening. It is cooler today so I'm definitely going to need the stove on. I had it on until quite late last night. And uh, the dog, Tiggy, as I found out, is outside under the awning because she stole my cheese while I was gone. So just in case she... Uh, makes any kind of mess she's staying out and because she's uh, been naughty you're in the doghouse you've been bad naughty <laughs> okay it's starting to get dark and I've just got wet on a walk around the woodland by here downpour come down so we get this lit dry off and well, cook dinner eventually. Try out some of this, what I think is oak.
trying out new light tonight. We've got the new light up, and the good thing about this is that it's actually two lights. Uh, it's a clever thing called Now Light. Um, working on a review for it actually, because that's another thing I've been using for a while now. But uh, yeah, you can charge it three different ways. Um, stove is going. It's warmed up a bit in here. I'm a bit dry an hour as well, which is nice. Yeah, all is good. Dog is in the awning. <laughs> Didn't take the hint. <laughs> I can't let it in after eating that cheese. Just in case. <laughs> but yeah, settled for the evening. It's time just to do a little bit of prep. Just got an onion and a red pepper. Now I'm gonna make some sort of chicken fajitas with no cheese in. <laughs> that should probably do. We've got some oil on in the pan. I've just got and put the chicken in at the same time and I've got some spice mix as well. Here we go, I've got a wrap with uh, just some uh, salsa in. Did want to do some proper campfire cooking tonight, but uh, alas, I do have the Dutch oven with me. Saying that, it has stopped raining at the moment. <laughs> but you never know, do you? Wrap number one, with no cheese. This is wrap number three, and as a nose keeps pressing against the door of the tent. No, you can't have any. <laughs> Very strange dog. Well this is a first, I'm going to try and do some marshmallows inside here. It's definitely quite hard when I can't see because the camera's in the way. I'd say the first one's cooked. <laughs> Been half awake for half hour or so. Just motivate myself to get up. I need to do a bit of tidying after making dinner last night and having the stove going. A little bit to do. I even battened a little bit of wood in here, so I made a bit of a mess. But yes, yeah, so half nine. See so yeah, a bit of a lay in today actually. Yeah, get a tidied up. It was raining when I sort of first woke up this morning I just kind of dozed till it stopped and it looks like the sun's out at the moment Tiggy the dog can't remember if I said I found out the name is out and about around there I have seen her she poked her nose in earlier <laughs> yeah time to get up Oh, 
Well, I'm mostly out of the wind here. All the cattle are coming to, into this field now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I want to do breakfast out here. So I was cooped up in the tent most of yesterday. So I'm just going to use my trangia for breakfast because I'm only frying an egg really. It's not cold so I don't need to be having a fire at the moment. Oh look. Can I steal more food? Fuel are up. Tiki, there's a camera there. You're going to flump in front of it, aren't you? <coughs> you had to, didn't you? Oh, where's my light? Oh, it is here. Pot stand. Love this little pot stand if all you're doing is getting a boil on or doing something simple. This was a part of my, because I was going to sleep on Dartmoor yesterday, this was a part of that kit that I had ready. They're getting closer. I think he did just prove useful in stopping the cows from stampeding the tent. I'm not saying they would, but she made sure they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I'll do two fried egg sandwiches. You can probably hear the cows going past. I think they're trying to get through to another field that's behind me. I was just praising this uh, pot stand, but it's not the best for wobbly pans like this, so we'll see. It's become unbalanced when the egg goes in. Like that. Should have just bought my whole trangia, I didn't think I'd uh, be needing it. is keeping those uh, cows in line as they go past when they get a bit close to the tent uh, curiosity there we go before you say it, I've mashed up the yolks on purpose because I don't like one big mouthful of yolk and mess this way you get it in every mouthful a bit of everything mmm breakfast Yeah, so sunny today. It's very nice. There's a lot of wind though, but uh, down here isn't too bad. Just keeping an eye on these cows. <laughs>
I thought I'd go on a bit of a walk today because I was cooped up in that tent pretty much all yesterday, apart from going for supplies. Um, come down this track here and it's clearly used by the ATVs, maybe even the cows, it's pretty uh, mashed up and muddy. And I haven't got wellies, just normal boots, but um, I've got through, I'm going to carry on. I've only been about this far before on my last visit here, I've only been here once before. So yeah, carry on and see where it leads. The stream's nice at least. so nice to get out for a proper walk. This is a beautiful strip of woodland that follows the stream here. And a lovely overhanging tree over the stream down there as well. Yes, nice the weather today. I think it's going back to rain tomorrow though. <laughs> I don't want to pack up in the rain. It says mid-morning at the moment, so hopefully I can get up early, get packed and get out. Yeah, it's been nice to stretch the legs and uh, get in with nature. Had to uh, back the cows off a little bit. I was a little worried about them maybe tripping on the guys and stuff like that, making a big mess. They're only just behind the camera now but they're behaving. I think they got the idea. My guard dog's gone. The dog was keeping them away from the tent before. Pretty used to keeping them in line. Yeah, I do like cows. In fact, I think I've got one for dinner tonight. <laughs> Just had some lunch, just a boil in the bag meal, so I didn't bother filming it. Just had to get some food in me after that walk. Um, yes, I have made a decision. <laughs> the um, weather is saying quite early there's going to be rain. I don't have anywhere to dry this out at home. Um, so what I'm going to do is put away the stove, because I don't think I really need it tonight. I'm going to have a nice big fire. Put away the carpet, the bed but not the mat. Just uh, square everything away that I don't need. Um, have a nice campfire and um, dinner tonight. And then tomorrow get up, well get up with the sun. And um, I can pack away the tent and hopefully it hasn't rained at that point. Because a little bit of sun and the wind has dried it right out today. So even if I can get it away semi-dry is going to help. So that's my plan. I'm going to put a few bits away and um, yeah by then should be time to uh, light the fire. That's me down to the essentials for tonight. Quick pack away before the rain in the morning. Just gonna break down some of this firewood, just so it burns a little easier, because it's only a shallow fire pit.
got one fire lighter left, so to make life easy, I'm just going to pare some stuff down quite small, just batten it with the new Hudson Bay. couple of stragglers that haven't been round up yet. <laughs> right, last bit of kindling, first stage, second stage and then our fuel. We should be good. Well, look who it is. Hello. Well, it's chilling right down actually, so I'm going to get this going. The sun's just set. Well, the fire's going pretty well now. Got Tiggy here beside me. Some general farmyard sounds in the background. <laughs> but yeah, this fire's burning down nice. I've got a sirloin steak, I think, some vegetables, and um, uh, some instant mash. So yeah, that should do me tonight. I think I'm going to use the um, TJM Metalworks fire anchor over this because. Unless you're using coal in this, using them grills, it's a little bit tricky. You kind of have to keep the fire going on one side. But yeah, that will give me whatever height I need for the steak and that. <coughs> Bloody hell, there's nothing there. <coughs> was a cow <laughs> or two. I've got a nice beaver town neck oil. I do like these. Okay, with the uh, fire anchor I'm gonna put on some vegetables, some water for the mash. In a moment, I'll put on the steak. Okay, the veg is boiling, and I need a glove. So we'll move that aside, and we'll get on. That's a big steak. <laughs> right, let's give this a flip. Spit up that fat there. There's that beautiful piece of steak. There's some of that mashed potato.
some of that veg. Peas, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower. Oh, that'd do for now. <laughs> well, it can be difficult getting a steak this kind of thin. It was thin and large, but uh, I got it medium. And uh, Tiggy is obviously at my feet here. Don't know if you can see her. You will get a bit in a minute. Mmm. Crispy skin. Or should I say fat? What do we say? <laughs> you shouldn't have eaten it so quick. You alright? Don't tread on your toe. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, sit on my foot. Well, my plan had one fatal flaw, the British weather prediction. <laughs> Hasn't really gone to plan. It's uh, been raining on and off the last couple of hours. It's about seven in the morning now. I didn't want to get up any earlier than that, really. But, uh, yeah, you can probably hear it a little bit. Oh, well. <laughs> have to find a way of drying this tent at home so yeah the only things to put away really are the bed stuff a couple of essentials and um, the tarp and the uh, tent it sounds like I'm gonna be doing it in the rain yay <laughs> Look, a crop circle. Well, that is everything away in record time for that setup. I guess I did the stove in that last night, but I think that was about half an hour, if that. I didn't get the top in its um, stuff sack. I just couldn't be bothered, and I was rushing. 
luckily it held off mostly while I was packing up. All right, I'm all ready to roll, bit of a drive back now, and uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.